Hello, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're going to uh, learn about radical equations just doing that. We solve each equation and we remember to check our uh, for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, r equals the square root of 8r, okay? I'm going to square both sides here. Let's square it. Let's, let's do that. Square both sides. r squared equals, got rid of the square root, 8r, okay? From there, I'm going to subtract an 8r on both sides. So we have r squared minus 8r equals 0. Okay? And make sure you're subtracting 8r, don't divide, it doesn't really eliminate anything here. Okay? Subtract an 8r to both sides. Factor that out, pull out an r, r times r minus 8 equals 0. Set both of them equal to 0, and get r equals 0 and a positive 8. Okay? So now I need to check both of these. Let's check them. So I'm checking them. Uh, let's check r equals 0 first. Let's plug it back into our original equation. 0 in for r. I always love it when it's 0. It makes it so much easier once you know what you're doing. All right, 8 times 0 is just 0, so 0 equals 0. Square root of 0, 0. So 0 equals 0. Fantastic. Great. Looking good. r equals 0. It's not extraneous. It worked out. We checked it. It's good. Okay? I, I give it my seal of approval. So I have r equals 8 is the other one. i got to check that too. So we have r equals 8. So let's rewrite the equation. r equals 8r. r equals square root of 8r. Let's plug 8 in. Oh, there's 8's everywhere. 8 equals square root of 8 times 8. How many 8's can we have here? <laughs> so 8 times 8 is 64. So if 8 equals square root of 64, I get confused sometimes. It's okay. Square root of 64 is just 8. So we have 8 equals 8. Left and right hand side are equal, fantastic. That means both of these are true. No extraneous solutions here, folks. We have r equals 0 and r equals 8. Both are true, both are fantastic, and we're good to go. So let's recap like we always do. r equals the square root of 8r. We square both sides, eliminated the square root, leaving me with an r squared equals 8r. I subtract an 8r to both sides, leaving me r squared minus 8r equals 0. I factor that by pulling out an r, giving me r times r minus 8 equals 0. And I set both, side, both parts equal to 0, giving me r equals 0 and 8. All one breath right there. Okay. Now, now I need to check, uh, check it here. So I plug 0 in, so I plug 0 in for r. Uh, from my original equation and see if it was equal. Uh, turns out it was, right? Zero equals zero. Fantastic. That means zero was a true solution. Looking good. I also checked eight. I had two numbers. I checked the other one. I plugged eight back into the original equation. Simplified. Again, harder, but it's okay. Uh, square root of 64 was eight. So left-hand side was eight. Right-hand side was eight. Left and right were equal. Fantastic. Extraneous solutions. Not in my house here. I had two real solutions. They were r equals zero and r equals eight. And that, folks, is our final answer.